Hey guys, so I noticed that only a small percentage of the people who watch my videos are actually subscribed. Uh, so if you like my content, please consider subscribing and turning on notifications to make sure that my content gets to you on time. Uh, hey guys, uh, today I wanted to uh, give a guide on when to commit to a comp. So the reason why I wanted to make this was because it's a question I see a lot of new players have. There was this post recently on competitive subreddit that basically boils down to when do you commit to a comp? And uh, while I was reading the answers to that thread, I, lot I realized that a lot of the answers were very fuzzy. And then basically it's the whole idea that when to commit to a comp is actually pretty difficult to describe. Uh, so in this guide, I wanted to maybe give you a rundown on how to commit to a 3-cost carry and how to commit to a 4-cost carry. I'm currently ignoring um, things like a reroll comp because uh, a lot of them you just commit at the start of the game based on how many reroll units you get. So uh, let's go ahead and just get started on the on the 4-cost carries. So the 4-cost carries are a more common carry that you usually run. And um, usually you want to at least commit before wolves, but in set 5.5 you actually want to commit a little bit before the Radiant Armory at stage 3-6. The reason why you want to commit to uh, the forecast carry before 3-6 is that committing, committing before the Radiant Armory actually allows you to pick a Radiant item for your carry if you need to. So it makes it really great to commit before the Radiant Armory. So usually you want to commit when at least uh, two of the below are true. I don't know why I said both. So two out of the three below are true. You want to commit when you have either one copy of your forecast carry, two great items for your carry, so the item components do count. Well, and you have two stars, some of your supporting units. Uh, so pairs do count as well. Although for a little bit less. So let's just take Aphelios as an example. You commit when two of the below are true. You have an Aphelios. You have Rageblade and Deathblade for Aphelios. And you have multiple two-star Nightbringer or Ranger or other supporting units. Uh, like, um, I don't know, like Aurelia. So... Um, here's an example of me committing to Draven at stage 3-3. Uh, usually, I would want to commit slightly before the Radiant Armory, so that, that's that's the case. In this case, I hit a Draven 1 uh, from the um, from the shop. I have two good uh, items for my Draven. I have Last Whisper and I have uh, Deathblade. And then I have a 2-star supporting unit. In this case, I really am. Um, so in the event that I didn't hit Draven, or if I uh, thought Draven was uh, kind of weak in the meta, or if I'm even more, if I, because I'm more comfortable playing Lucian, I can also commit to uh, Sentinel Lucian. In this case, I have two good items for Lucian, Last Whisper Deathblade, and I have several two-star supporting Sentinels and several two-star, um, several um, pairs on the bench. So in this case, I have two-star Aurelia and I have several pa pairs on the bench, which allows me to also commit to Lucian. So now let's talk about three cost carries. Um, three cost carries are, are very similar to four cost carries. The big difference is that you commit to three cost carries just a little bit earlier. Uh, so usually you want to commit to 3-cost carries um, before stage 3-2. And the reason why you want to commit to the 3-cost carry before stage 2 is because um, sometimes you you hit your... um, Sometimes you use the roll down at 3-2 to commit to your 3-cost carry. And sometimes uh, if you commit to your 3-cost carry, you can actually roll down at 3-2 to get stronger if you're weak right now. So <clears throat> usually you commit to... um. Uh, three cost carries when two of the below are true. You either have one copy of your carry, you have two great items for your carry, and the item components do count again. You have two star summary for supporting units, and pairs do count as well. So basically, let's take uh, Yasuo and Nightbringers as an example. You commit when two of the below are true. You have a Yasuo, you have two of the really best in slot items for Yasuo, such as Runa's Hurricane, Hand of Justice, uh, Rapid Fire Cannon, or like any AP items such as Death Cap. And you have two star. Uh, some of your Nightbringer or supporting units. So, in this example, um, uh, Newbell commits to Riven Abomination at 2-6, and the reason why he commits to it is, in this case, um, he has a Riven 1, he has uh, one good item for Riven, and he has a he has an item component on bench that could be really good. It could be either Bloodthirster or Runa's Hurricane, and he has a pair of supporting Abomination units. I do want to point out, in this case, the rules are a little bit relaxed because he's committing really early. So instead of com if you're committing at stage 3, 3-2, three, you probably want two good items. But since he's committing at stage 2, um, he can have one item and one component. Okay, and sometimes the game just doesn't give you any direction by stage 4-1. Uh, in these cases, you're usually lost and you're playing for 4th. So what you want to do is you want to... Um, you want to definitely commit at 4-1 at the very, very least. But in this case, you have to play and you have to commit in a slightly modified rule of thumb. 
So you want to definitely commit when the below are true. First off, you need to have two good items for a carry. Uh, in this case, you're not very likely to get more item components. So what you have is what you get. So you make sure you want to commit to a comp where you have two great items. And you want to make sure that either on your roll down, you either have one copy of a four cost carry or a two star your three cost carry, or you have two stars, most of the supporting units. So either, either or is your committing condition. And once you commit, you want to keep rolling down until all three are true. So you want to have two great items. You want to have one copy of your four cost carry or two star your three cost carry. And you need to have two star most of your supporting units. So make sure to roll down until all three are true. Once again, you're probably playing for fourth year, but I mean, it happens every now and then. So now the last thing I want to uh, let you know is that I gave you guys these general guidelines, not for you guys to follow them, like down to the very, very, um, uh, you don't like don't down to the uh, very nitty gritty. Some of the rules are actually pretty fuzzy. So example, um, you don't actually necessarily need two star supporting units. Um, pairs of supporting units do indicate to committing. You always you don't always need two full good items. Often one full item and one component is good enough. And then um the other things is that let's just say you hit a karma on your rolldown, you don't always necessarily want to commit to karma, um because in this case karma's a little bit weak. So even if you have karma one or even karma two, you're probably not gonna top four. So make sure your play you play comps are are comfortable and are good. And then finally of course. The earlier you commit, the less strict the rule of thumb is. For example, if you commit to Yasuo at two one, you probably don't need, um, you probably don't need uh, good items for him. You probably don't need um, uh, 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 two star supporting units, right? Because uh, since you found out Yasuo so early, you can fill, just fill in the gaps later. But the later you commit, uh, the more strict the rules of thumbs are. The later you commit, you want to have uh, everything already in place. I hope you guys, uh, hope this helps you guys out on uh, when to commit. I think uh, when to commit is one of the most interesting strategic decisions in TFT.